Hello and welcome to this tutorial presented by oraclecoach.com. This is Claire Rajin and in this video segment I'll be demonstrating the execution of a for loop construct in PL SQL. The for loop like the other iterative control statements that I've taught you allow you to repeat the execution of one or more executable statements for a certain number of times. However, unlike a loop and while loop statement, a for loop statement must not use a counter variable that is declared in the declaration section. Instead, you define a variable that will behave as a counter in the for loop itself. I have SQL star plus open and I'm connected to my database as the user HR. I'm going to edit a file called for and I'm going to write a program that's going to display the word hello on the screen five times using a for loop. Notice that I have not started with the word declare. I've directly gone to the body of the program using the word begin. I'm writing a for loop where it's uh, written as for x in 1 dot dot 5 followed by a keyword loop. I'm going to write a DBMS output line statement displaying uh, the string hello on the screen followed by an end loop which closes the for, for statement and the end of the program with the end. Now this variable that I've created called x is what I would call as uh, the counter variable and the counter variable in a for loop should not be declared in a declaration section but is automatically defined in the for loop to have a data type which in this case would be number based on the initial and the final value that you've defined in the for loop. Now the variable x will, begin, will have an initial value of 1 and a final value of 5 and what would happen is for uh, as, while the for loop is executing the values taken by x will be 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 that is uh, the value of x will automatically increment by 1 for each iteration of the for loop. Now to understand the behavior of this loop uh, let me uh, show you how the execution will occur x will start with the initial value of 1. Now for the initial value 1, the statements between the loop and end loop will be executed and hello will be displayed for the first time. x will automatically be incremented by 1 to become 2. 2 is less than the final value which is 5. The statements between the loop and the end loop will be executed for this value of x which is 2 displaying hello the second time x will automatically be incremented by 1 to become 3, 3 is compared to 5, 3 is less than 5, the statements between the loop and loop will be executed displaying hello a third time. x will be incremented by 1, x will become 4, 4 will be compared to 5, five uh, 4 is less than 5, the statements between the loop and the end loop will be executed, hello will be displayed a fourth time, x will be incremented by 1 to become 5. 5 is equal to 5 which is the final value. The statements between the loop and the end loop will be executed displaying hello the fifth time. Now once the final value has been reached, execution of the for loop will stop. The statement following the for loop in this case was the end statement and the program will end. Now when I run this program, it should display the word hello on the screen uh, five times and that's exactly what is happening. Now let me go back to the program. I'm going to modify it in such a way that instead of displaying the word hello, I use um, the variable x. Now x was the counter variable that was, has been defined and uh, if I display the value of x then um, what should be seen on the screen as an output are all the different values uh, that the, the variable x has uh, taken and uh, it should display 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and that's exactly what is being displayed. Now uh, when I write a for loop uh, just the way I've done uh, as in this program uh, it's called an incrementing for loop. An incrementing for loop is when the variable of the uh, the value of the counter is automatically incremented by one for each iteration of the for loop. Now you can also have what is called as a decrementing um, for loop. A decrementing for loop is created by using the word reverse uh, in the for loop syntax. So when I write for x in reverse one dot dot five, notice that I still write one dot dot five. I'm using the low value before the the high value uh, and I'm then displaying the value of x inside the end uh, loop and end loop. So now uh, in this case what would happen is the initial value that x will take is the final value which is 5. So um, 
the first value that is displayed on the screen will be 5 for each iteration of the for loop x will be decremented by 1 in such a way that its values become 5 4 3 2 1 as soon as it reaches the last or the initial value that is 1 uh, execution of this decrementing for loop will stop so uh, let me run the program and this time notice the output is 5 4 3 2 1 in this tutorial, I showed you the execution of the for loop statement. I hope you find this tutorial useful. For more videos, tutorials and articles, you can take a look at the oraclecoach.com website. Thank you for your time and thank you for listening.